Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the Tactical Trader at TheTechTrader.com. It's Thursday, July the 19th. These are the charts of the day. Well, it was kind of a sloppy mixed day in Wall Street, but a lot of stocks we follow did well, and I've been saying that. It's a market of stocks, not a stock market. Take a look at ACIU, which was an IPO back in September of 2017, uh, less than a year ago. I'm sorry, two, uh, 2016, two, almost two years ago. Bottom line is, though, after a big drop and a pop and a pullback, it then broke out. Take a look at the action recently. An explosive move, taking it from 9 to 16 and change, and then a point, uh, about a 0.618 Fibonacci retracement to the breakout point, and then a huge snapback today. Today was a big day. The biggest volume since IPO day today, 1.8 million, as the stock jumped 21.5% on 1.8 million. The biggest volume, like I said, in a while, long while. I think it's reversal breakaway volume. Look for a test tomorrow of the 16, 16 and a quarter zone. It might get to 17 and a half. That's my next target, followed by 20. Big plots. Now look at the inverse head and shoulders that this has developed. After a head and shoulder top broke it down, it came all the way down from mid 60s to the mid 30s. This was a what I would call an exhaustion gap with a tail, meaning that bar came down, closed strong, and then ran up to resistance. Note the consolidation here, which is the right shoulder. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Here's your neckline. Guess what we came to today? The neckline. Volume picked up to 2.2 million. I'm not saying it's going vertical, but I think that the gap should be tested at 49. That's my next target. Beyond that, 53. DWCH, big, big move and a breakout above a triple top today. Not the best close in the world. Got up to 13.65, closed 12.60, but still up a dollar 30, 11 and a half percent. Volume was the biggest we've seen on this stock on an update since way back in oh, more than a year and a half, or about a year and a quarter. The bottom line is, it, it may be uh, somewhat exhausted after the breakout, but I do think the stock is headed to 14 and a quarter, a half, and then 16, maybe even 17. It might give you a back and fill. If it does that, watch for an opportunity. ENPH, what a great chart. This is a junior semiconductor stock gone from like 70 cents, 65 cents, all the way up to seven and change, about 11, 12 fold in the last year. And now look at this. Platforming here, this is a high, that's a couple lows, and there's another one. Easy stop, folks. Stop at under 645 and you're covered. If the stock should pop its flag, it looks like it's about to with a, with a game of 33 cents or 5% today. If the vine picks up, that's going to be key. I think at least we go to about 8. But I think we're going to see 9.5 and, and even 11.5 potentially up in that zone. Funko. Well, talk about momentum. Look at the low in December, uh, 5 and change. And here we are, 1846, more than tripled just since January. Now, it's a little ahead of itself, but it's got strong momentum and it's accelerating. After the reversal day yesterday, look how this held. If you're going to trade the stock, Funko, make sure you have a stop right there. On the 15 and a quarter, out. If it runs, I'm looking for 2021. GTLS, a significant pop and breakout, a run of almost $10, up 14%. After a big run up like this has had, you can see the potentiality for this stock. After breaking through that level, right now I'm going to call the next target here at that low and this high. And it's not far from where we are, but it's enough to get us a little trade. I think the possibilities are we see this run up into that um, 81 and then 87 zone. HEAR looked like it was going to explode today. Got all the way up to 27 and change. 27 and a half. I first gave you this down in here in the high teens. So this is up a good 10 points, I believe. And at this point, I'm still looking for more. Targeting, 30. HRTX. Did they come out of a coil today? Might have. Volume ramped up a little bit. Stock was up a buck and a quarter. It was up about $1.85 earlier, but backed off. Still, if this continues at all tomorrow, with a bit of resistance at 41.30, but I think the double top at 42 and three quarters is what I'm looking at. We get through that, we're looking at 47.8. IBM with earnings had a nice pop and breakout above a key area here today. You can see that the consolidation that's taken place on it was followed by a breakout. This is a inverse head and shoulders, right-handed extended V, etc. I think the gap's getting tested on momentum. Look for 152.3 range as early as tomorrow. We get through that, we fill the gap to 157.8, maybe more. MRAM, this is a swing, the base is built. The stock's been moving. Today it got up just underneath the June high. If we take out 10 and a quarter, I think we're going to rock the 11 and a half and 13. Impinged swing continues wonderfully. 
after the pop and pullback and then consolidation breakout we gave you a swing there it's gone from 17 to 26 almost 2563 today but took a little bit of a breakout and closed above that level so I'm looking for about 26 and three quarters as early as tomorrow but eventually 28 and 33 are targets Semtech this is a swing I gave you here it ran up to the first target pulled back to support held the trend line <coughs> lateral price support moving average etc now it's been moving up slowly but I'm going to look for it, and what I want you to watch for is a move over 52 51 90 52 being resistance targeting 57 and 60. Square just keeps going on and on and on another new all-time high today as it took out the June high I think at this point not much to hold it back from running all the way up to 79.80 range and Teladoc also keeps going the accelerated angle here might be in play I'm going to change this to look like this now and I think that's what we're dealing with and that means for me Teladoc is headed to maybe 78.79 TSM took off and broke a declining top line today. Um, got up to resistance. It may pull back and form an inverse head and shoulder, but it should have break through. And there's a gap there. Anything above that 41 and a quarter and a half area, we're looking at 44, 46. TTS broke out, popped a falling wedge, held the trend line. It's right at the top of that channel, but I think it's going to accelerate and get up to 10 and a half. And through that level, then you're then we're talking 12 or so. Vanda swing trade continues to ramp up beautifully. At this point, your stop and your target. Uh, here's your stop about the 19 range. Since this is a new multi year high, you can see the highest level achieved since uh, it's 11 years. I'm actually going to look for a run up to the 31 32 zone. That's a long way up. First target, 25. Second target, 30 32. Sure looks like it's ready to rent run, isn't, doesn't it? WTI, the junior oil I've mentioned several times in the last few months. You can see why. Pop consolidated, pop coil, pop wedge. Or should I say wedge and coil? Breakout, a little mini wedge, and a breakout of that. This feels like this wants to go. <coughs> Excuse me. The target is going to be about 10 and a half, 11 going forward. And finally, Zapgen, also acting well, back out of the falling flag and up four days in a row, came out of a little inside day yesterday and accelerated. Um, 1125 is support a resistance we get through that your target is 12 and three quarters 14. folks that's it for tonight you guys have a good evening talk to you tomorrow morning